So let me set you up. This call came out about uh, late at night, around 11, 12 o'clock. What I remember from that night is that it was cold. It was in the winter time. When the call came out that a mother in crisis had delivered a baby and left the baby on the doorstep of somebody's home, is when we kind of put in our mindset, this is not gonna be the ordinary type of call. We were just on the street where we were supposed to be and an individual was carrying a, a towel around this, this shoulder. We, we stopped the rig and I got out of the rig and confronted this person and I can tell there was, there was a baby inside that blanket, so I grabbed that, that towel. Sure enough, there's a baby there. We immediately went through our EMS mode and went back at the back of the rig, told uh, my own engineer to turn on the heater in the back of the rig so it keep the baby warm. And we pretty much dried her and everything else, wrapped her up with a dry uh, towel. Pretty soon, uh, paramedic uh, Clausen got in the back of the um, EMR rig, an ambulance, and transferred her to the hospital. When we came back to work the following four day, we decided to go pay her a visit at the hospital. We're all fathers. Uh, we all have little girls in our lives. And so we've just felt this powerful parent connection to Maria and go see her. Finding out her story through uh, the ICU nurses there at Regional, we figured out that she was gonna be uh, fostered after a, a, a period of time. So we decided to uh, bring her a birthday card. And this, this card, we all wrote, happy birthday from your San Jose firefighters here at Station 2. Uh, we will always be home and we wish you well on your bright future. Love always. And we all signed it. Mike, John, Daryl, and Captain Nelson. Uh, not only we wrote our station phone number, I wrote my cell phone number, my personal cell phone number. And so we confided in the nurses there who were taking care of her. We said, wherever she goes, this card must stay with her so that whoever fosters her knows of us. And it followed her. Uh, and some time later, I randomly got a phone call uh, that I did not expect. And I was very fortunate that Wendy, her foster mom, now adopted mom, called us and uh, we were able to begin a, a beautiful relationship of this story of Maria. So Maria started out with us very, very quiet, had a, a little bit of a hard birth. So um, we watched her, she went through some drug withdrawals, uh, came out the other end, just happy as can be, um, very lovable, very caring, never stops moving. And a fast forward now, recently we had, a, we had a reunion with Maria, four years later at the station. She's four years old now. She looks great, she looks healthy. She's smiling, you know, playful and seeing the whole, seeing the whole family again, talking to them. It's a great feeling, it's kind of like a, a good reunion for us at the same time we know she's in good hands. We don't hold any any anger, any frustration against the parents whose children come into the system. They to us are brave. They went through it when it comes to babies, they went through with their pregnancy. They a lot of times realize they can't they can't care for them. To me that that shows inside love and that's something we express to our kids not that they were not wanted that they were wanted that's why they're here and i'm but i'm grateful because now we have them and we get to to share their lives going through this experience i like to remind all new parents that are unprepared or unable to care for their newborn child there are alternative options available for example California's Safe Surrender Program helps parents in need by giving them a safe, legal, and confidential way to surrender their newborn. Under this program, you can surrender a newborn within 72 hours of birth at any hospital or fire station within Santa Clara County. The county's Child Welfare Agency will then find a loving home and a caring family for your newborn. So please, 
Don't abandon your baby. Help is available.